Hey, how's it going? If you're watching this video, you're probably wondering how to export leads from LinkedIn Sales Navigator, either searches or lead lists. And the good news is you can pretty easily. So I'm gonna show you how you can do that quickly in this video today. The first step is obviously just to go to LinkedIn Sales Navigator and either navigate to one of your lead lists, like one of the ones in here, or we can go to a search and I'm just gonna build a quick search. So I'm gonna target United States and I'm gonna look for the title SDR manager because that's the title that we go after at our company. So of that search, we've got 445 people and obviously it would take a long time to go and find each of their contact information or export these details individually, which is why Wizza exists. So Wizza is the tool you're seeing at the top here that's allowing you to export emails up here. And it's also allowing you to find the email of these contacts individually by hitting one of these side buttons. But in this video, we want to export the entire thing. So the way we do that is just hit this button. From here, you're brought over to your Wizza account. So I'm just going to name the list SDR Managers USA. And we've got three different options available to us. We can scrape only. This is if we don't really need the emails. If for whatever reason, we just want to export those names and whatever on this LinkedIn page, we can do that here. We can prospect, which will do that and it'll add uh, work email or personal email, as well as company firmographics, so like revenue data and headcount data. Uh, and then the final option is enrich, which will add uh, mobile numbers, direct dials, and interest in skills of the prospect that might be uh, listed publicly online. For now, our most popular option is the prospect option. Let's go forward with that one. And then you can see here, uh, we've got 445 contacts in the scan and it's going to take about six minutes to do this entire search to export the whole thing and we can change this number so if we wanted to export only 100 of those we could put that in here and that would only take three minutes so we can choose what type of emails that we want so if we only wanted the work email we would just leave this on but we can also find a backup email so let's say we can't find a work email for someone we can do a backup personal email in worst case we find nothing maybe we can find a personal email across the web and we'll provide you that instead. And then you can do the same for generic company email. This would be something like info at wizza.co. So use a little less common, but if you're targeting a small business like a restaurant, maybe that could be used. So if we just go forward with work email, we can continue here. And this 100 list would take three minutes. And then we could just launch our scan like that, and you can see it gets started. I actually ran this search before a couple days ago, so I'll show you what the results look like. We had SDR managers in the United States. We had 442 people. Wizza couldn't find any email for 28 of the prospects. It found a risky email for 85, and it found a valid email for 329. So what that valid, risky, and no email means is that not only do we go out and try and find their email, we also do a verification in real time right before we provide it to you. So when we check these emails, we're certain that these valid ones are correct. And the risky ones, we can't really check if the email is correct or not. We think it's right. We found it online somewhere, but we're not certain. We've separated it like this as, as risky. So most people mix this in their outreach, but if you want to be more protective of your domain reputation, you might want to only send to the valids. Wizza is only going to use credits for these valid ones. You're going to get these risky ones for free. All you do is hit download here, or if you've connected your CRM through one of our integrations, you could just hit sync here and it would sync over to your CRM. So the CSV file will look like this. I'll just quickly go over what's included. You get the email status, like valid, risky, like I was just talking about the email type. So if it's a work or you can see we have a personal one here. And then the email address, full name, first name, last name, job title, company, uh, location, their LinkedIn profile URL, their company's LinkedIn profile URL, their company's domain name, their industry that they're in, and then also their sub-industry. So if we look at this company, for example, Beyond Trust is in the computer software industry as per LinkedIn, but we've actually gotten more specific with that. And we can see that they're also in SaaS software as a service industry. Their company size, so this is the exact number of employees as per LinkedIn, so 1,060, as well as their size range, which is the range that they list on their company's profile, so 1,000 to 5,000 employees. 
the year that the company was founded, so in this case 1985, the annual revenue of the company, so in this case $154 million in USD, the amount of funding that the company's received, so in this case $53 million in total. It's a private or public company, so if it's traded on the, the stock market or not. A company Twitter URL, Facebook URL, a description of what the company does, uh, and then their last funding round and last funding amount. So in this case, the last round was a private equity round, and it wasn't public what the amount is. If we look at the one above, their last round was a Series D for $165 million. And then when that last event happened, so this funding round happened in January 2021 for $165 million. And then the company location, headquarters, exact address. So just a ton of data that's included in here that you can use for, for your different efforts. So I hope this helps and check out Wizza to, to export your LinkedIn sales navigator searches.